Maricho Ruto. Welcome. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Pastor Dorcas Rigadi, spouse of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Elu Dowalo, patron of the Professional Association of Nyanza, Pine and Cabinet Secretary for Information, Communication, and the Digital Economy. Honorable Aisha Jumwa, Cabinet Secretary for Gender, Culture, the Arts and Heritage. Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, Cabinet Secretary of Education. Your Excellency, Anne Waiguru, Chairperson, Council of Governors, and Governor of Kirinyaga County. Principal Secretaries present all former and current elected leaders and government officials present, Pine Women Deputy Patron Committee and members present, partners, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. good morning. I'm honored to join you today as we launch the strategic plan for the professional association of Nyanza Pine Women. This is a noble cause and I share my heartfelt congratulations to all the members of Pan Women for your dedication and commitment. Receive greetings from our president, Dr. William Ruto, who appreciates your commitment. <laughs> who appreciates your commitment to empower the women and youth in the Nyanza region. Your decision to come together and form this association is a testament to your unwavering resolve to uplift one another and pave the way for a brighter future for our women and youth. Hearing about Pan Women's commitment to sustainable impact at the grassroots level when we met in Kisumu during the International Women's Day celebrations and thereafter at my office has continued to inspire and impress me. Congratulations once again. This event com confirms the critical contribution made by women in accelerating development because you set a path for others to follow in addressing social, economic, cultural, and political factors that have ampered development in our communities and respective regions. Our coming together as professional women further supports the gender equity agenda of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, by enabling the full and effective participation by women and equal opportunities for leadership at all levels of decision making. Listening to the presentations today reminds me of Tom Boyer and the airlift program he organized. The first batch of 81 students touched down in New York City on 11 September 1959, and they were admitted to various universities in the United States and Canada. One of the beneficiaries of this initiative was Barack Obama Sr., the father of former U.S. President Barack Obama, who joined the University of Hawaii. The Pan Women Initiative has the capacity to raise such powerful leaders and create programs that will impact generations for decades. Our coming together also creates a platform for synergy and common good, where we will bring together our resources, opportunities, and skills to support our sisters and brothers who may not be as privileged. We are doing this because we believe that everyone has unique abilities given by God for the good of the community and the nation. All we need sometimes is someone 
to hold our hand and show the way. I would like to recognize your patron, Honorable Eliud Owalo, Cabinet Secretary for Information, Communication, and the Digital Economy, and all other partners who have supported this worthy cause. Congratulations, Moshmoa. You are doing a good job. Your journey exemplifies the words of Nelson Mandela, and I quote, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others, end of quote. The Bible in Hebrews 13 verses 16 encourages us to do good to others, especially those around us. I quote, and do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Ladies and gentlemen, as we launch the Professional Association of Nyanza Women's Strategic Plan, let us acknowledge the remarkable progress Kenya continues to make in advancing women's rights and opportunities. From the historic enactment of laws to protect women's rights, to the implementation of policies aimed at promoting gender equity and empowering women, our nation has made significant strides in breaking down barriers and opening doors of opportunity for women to thrive and succeed in every sphere of life. One such significant step that our nation has taken is the implementation of policies and programs aimed at expanding access to education and vocational training for girls and women across the country. Through initiatives such as the Elimu to Itakayo program and the Girls Education Challenge Fund, we have seen increased enrollment and retention rates for girls in schools and equipped them with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in the workplace. The government has also launched various initiatives in support of gender equity and women economic empowerment. This include the Women Enterprise Fund, which was tripled to 13.5 billion Kenya shillings to increase the number of women accessing the fund. The application process was digitized, removing intermediaries that hampered its uptake. The Hustler Fund, which was inspired by women, popularly referred to as Mamamboga, was set up to enable easier access to credit. The digitized process through star 254 hash is simple and enables individuals to borrow up to 200,000 Kenya shillings and groups to borrow up to 1 million Kenya shillings. Access to government procurement opportunities, ACPO, has seen 30% of government tenders reserved for women, youth, and people with disabilities. Every Tuesday, the government publishes the tenders available through my government pullout in the Star newspaper. This information is also available on www.tenders.go.ke. The president allocated the highest ever budget of 30 billion Kenya shillings for student loans and grants, affirming his dedication to providing higher education scholarships through technical and vocational institutes, TVETs. Applications for these TVET grants and loans are now open to students by simply dialing star 642 hash. Let us share this information widely to all our young people, our youth. The government is in the process of digitizing all services, all payments to ease the delivery of its services to us. All you need is your phone and an internet connection to the e-citizen portal, and you can get your business permit, license, register for your passport, marriage certificate, among many services, all from the comfort of your home or workplace. Finally, the president launched the presidential landscape and ecosystem restoration strategy whose goal is to grow 15 billion trees by 2032 in order to increase our tree cover from the current 12.13% to 30%. This creates an immediate demand for quality seedlings, an opportunity women can take advantage of 
by coming together to manage tree nurseries, earn an income, and contribute to the nation's tree growing efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, the strategic plan we are launching today provides a pathway for us to address the pressing issues facing our women so as to create a more inclusive and equitable future. By leveraging our collective strength and expertise, we can mobilize resources and implement targeted interventions to enable the women achieve their full potential. This will help reduce the psychic poverty experienced in many rural communities, which when combined with a high level of dependency, leaves families with little disposable income for investment. This movement has the power to create a roadmap on how to profitably and sustainably use the resources and talents available in the Nyanza region. The roadmap, once implemented in collaboration with the local county governments, the Lake Region Economic Bloc and the national government will contribute to the prosperity of our nation. Let us tap into the vast network of support present today and implement the activities outlined in the strategic plan. In closing, let us remember the words of former American President Theodora Roosevelt, who said, and I quote, this country will not be a good place for any of us to live in unless we make it a good place for all of us to live in, end of quote. With these few remarks, it is my singular honor to officially declare the Professional Association of Nyanza Women's Strategic Plan officially launched. Thank you very much, and may the good Lord bless you. Just before I sit, just allow me um, to say one thing, and of course to appreciate um, the justices that are here. Um, they are very close to me because they are uh, alumni of Butere Girls. <laughs> uh, but just to congratulate you, uh, Patron, and together with the chair and the Pan women. I know when we were at the um, holding room, uh, we were talking to chair, and somebody mentioned to her that this organization should go beyond Nyanza region. And of course, uh, our, 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 our um, governor has alluded to that. But I must say that when I came in and I saw your logo, I see you carrying the continent of Africa. And really, I must say that this logo is really thought of very well because um, it is the nature of women to carry. We always carry something. We carry our children in front, and once they are with us, we carry them at the back. We carry them at the front. We carry everything. You know, once you do the pan thing and you have your food, you put it somewhere and you carry. We are always carrying something on our head. I want to encourage you not just to carry Nyanza region, but carry Kenya and carry Africa. God bless you. Let us celebrate our First Lady. would like to invite our First Lady to just take a step there. And if we could be joined by the spouse of the...